Finally tonight, Ruthie Zell takes us to a classroom where all the desks have been shoved to the side to make room for a very different kind of lesson. The name of the dance is called the Nago Dance. Everyone say Nago Dance. Okay. Nago Dance is a warrior dance, right? Kimberly Anderson is not a classroom teacher, she's a professional dancer. But Anderson is giving these third and fourth graders at Patrick Henry Downtown Academy in St. Louis lessons in foreign language and culture from her perspective. This is the Haitian flag. Anderson is an artist-in-residence and teaching specialist at this school through a program called Springboard to Learning and Young Audiences. I work with the whole school for about 14 weeks, and then I isolate and pick one group to be the featured group for the dance festival. The first step you're going to learn for the Ogun dance goes like this. First, I want you to bend your knees. This is the class Anderson tapped to represent Downtown Academy at Springboard's 24th Annual International Dance Festival in December of 2007. Serious face. It is really my favorite part of, of what Springboard and Young Audiences does. We do programs in various areas, a lot of arts, literacy, math, science programs, but the cultures of other lands are the programs that are really near and dear to my heart. Hey, let's go! Anderson is teaching these students a Haitian folk dance. It was inspired by a mythical warrior named Ogun. The first step we did, I usually explain it to the children that it's like clearing the forest. They use their arms like machetes. Left and walk. One, two, three. Show me your muscles. And the second step represents them like walking through the forest and showing how strong they are. My process usually is I'll give them the sequence of movement. After they've learned all the steps, then I'll arrange the patterning. The song goes like this. Saint-Jacques Pala, Saint-Jacques Saint-Jacques Pala is means Saint-Jacques is not here. Saint-Jacques is another name to call Ogun. Saint-Jacques it's the dog who's here. Because he's a warrior and he just lives alone in the woods with his, it's him and his dog. Solo kind of guy. So someone goes to visit Ogun and he's not there and they find his dog. The person's trespassing, he's hanging around the property too long, and he gets bit. Saint-Jacques, say that. Saint-Jacques. The boys and girls had eight weeks to learn the dance and song. On the big day, middle school and elementary students from eight other St. Louis public, county, and archdiocesan schools gathered along with the downtown academy kids as they all warmed up in costume for the dance festival. Red, red. Their venue was Union Avenue Christian Church in the Central West End. The performances crossed cultures and continents, from a Japanese dance by Ford Elementary students, to this dance from Mali in Africa by Immaculate Heart of Mary School. Kennard Classical Junior Academy students performed this Irish dance, And, of course, the Downtown Academy's Nago dance from Haiti. They were so excited when they saw how it went together. They're like, oh, yeah, this is so cool. Can we do it again? Can we do it again? And they really worked hard to stay in character and focus. They did a lot of practicing. And I think that they felt confident that they knew the piece inside and out. So it made them feel more comfortable on stage. And their regular classroom teacher says it's helped them become more confident in other studies. Them going and approaching things that they don't know, just like with the dance routine, they didn't know the end result. It was a mystery. And then in the classroom, certain hard tasks that they had to perform in the classroom, such as difficult writing assignments, uh, such as uh, studying about uh, things in science, uh, things that they, they wouldn't know that was an unknown. But once they really applied themselves, uh, just like with the dance routine, uh, they, they were, at the end, they had accomplished uh, something. Springboard's executive director, who was born in Germany, knows from personal experience the benefits of being exposed to foreign cultures as a young person. I, when I was a student, 
traveled a lot, studied abroad a lot, and I studied in many different countries, and I believe that that is the most important gift that you can give to a child. We look forward to growing this event every year.